Hi, I'm State Representative Christina Minacucci, and I'm here to read a story to you as part of the North Andover Festival Committee's holiday celebration. I chose to read The Dinosaur's Night Before Christmas, which is a big favorite in my house. The Dinosaur's Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the hall, not a creature was stirring, there was no sound at all. The fossils were standing where they always stood, looking out o'er a now fast asleep neighborhood. And across the wide street, a small boy tucked in tight wished the museum's dinosaurs all a good night. But just as the boy was beginning to doze, an unusual clatter of noises arose. Such a racket of creaking sounds filled the boy's head that he woke with a start and sat straight up in his bed. Peering out his window, he saw clear as day that the dinosaur fossils were starting to sway. Back and forth, the bones shook on their pins and their stands, swinging necks, bending knees, and outstretching their hands. And believe it or not, it was certainly true that the dinosaurs' bodies were growing anew, sprouting rainbows of colorful feathers and scales from the tops of their heads to the tips of their tails. So fantastic a scene, the boy had to see more. So he dashed down the stairs and right out his front door. With no care about snowdrifts that covered the street, the boy hurried across it in just his bare feet. And by luck, the boy found the museum unlocked. So he raced to the dinosaur floor. Then he stopped. For he suddenly thought, could a room full of beasts who for millions of years have had nothing to eat, find a small bite-sized boy so delicious a sight that they'd forgo a friendship for sheer appetite? And just then, from behind the boy came a loud hiss as a large toothy mouth seized the boy. With a kiss! A T-Rex who was wearing a wreath on his head, eating handfuls of pterosaur-shaped gingerbread in an ambush had caught the small boy, don't you know, standing right below the dinosaur's mistletoe. With a pat on the back and a cup of eggnog, the boy helped the kind dinosaurs light their Yule log and together they joyfully danced around the fire, singing holiday songs in melodious choir. Then a band of young duckbills, all dressed up in holly, invited the boy with a gesture, quite jolly, to stand upon their heads and reach way out far and top their tall tree with a bright Christmas star. From a distance, the soft twinkling sound of sleigh bells echoed through the large hall as a booming voice swelled, calling Bronto and Maya and Steggy and Packy on Tritops and Raptor on Rexy and Bracky. And cheers rang out as through the window appeared Santasaurus with sleigh pulled by eight dino deer. Handing out gift wrap packages to every beast, Santasaurus swooped down and then headed due east. But the boy catching hold as the sled sailed by, hitched a ride home with Santasaur through the night sky. Landing safe in his bed on soft pillows of down, the boy waved as the Santasaur flew over town. And the Santasaur said, as he sped out of sight, there's a dinosaur ball every Christmas Eve night. Shining rays from the morning sun on Christmas day made the nighttime festiv festivities fade fast away. But the folks at the museum all wanted to know 
why the T-Rex was holding a sprig of mistletoe. The end.